Okay, we're gonna talk about Hooked by Emily McIntyre, Hooked. And no, this get up is not for this. It was just a happy coincidence. I was dressed like this for Halloween and 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 I finished this audiobook. So um, this is a dark romance by Emily McIntyre. It is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually read the like the note because yeah. Um, it was not my, it was not my thing. It was not my thing. I gave it a three star and in my review, I like the narrator did a wonderful job. I don't think that was the, the, the audio book itself was good. It's just not my kind of story, if that makes sense. So I'm going to read the author's note. It says hooked is a dark contemporary romance. It is an adult fractured fairy tale. It is not fantasy or retelling the main character's villain. If you're looking for a safe read with redemption and bad guy turned into a hero, you will not find it in these pages. Roof. Hooked contains sexually explicit scenes as well as mature and graphic content that is not suitable for all audiences. Reader discretion is advised. I'd much prefer that you go in blind, but if you'd like a list of detailed triggers, you can find them here. So I like that she includes the list of triggers. I will say this was just not my thing, right? And I actually kind of complained about this to my therapist. I was like, you know, therapy ruins certain things. And she was like, what do you mean? And I was like, um, books. It ruins, it ruins certain kinds of books. Um, I'm not mad at that. I'm very happy that I am healing and getting to a point that someone like this is actually a turn off for me. Um, yeah. So my problem with the book was this, okay? First of all, that James is a psycho, but clearly in the author's note, like, you know, going in that he's a psycho. I don't find serial killers attractive. I don't. Um, that's me. That's a personal choice. You do you. Um, I also don't find people who are mean to other people attractive. Again, my choice. You do you. And it would be one thing if it was, I'm going to use Damon Salvatore as an example, if it was a he hates everybody but her thing, but that's not the situation because he's nasty to her too. He's mean to her too and abuses her. So he's not just a psychopath who murders people, but he also abuses her. And she is this very virginal, she doesn't know what he is, doesn't know what her father is. She's just completely clueless somehow about this life of crime that she grew up in and is surrounded by. And also it's the the um at the end this very cliche that because he loves her he's not going to be a psycho anymore that's that's not this doesn't it it doesn't work like that so i i would just say that as much as i love pirates um this was not my my kind of thing um so yeah so that's it and i mean other people love dark romance and that's their thing and there's nothing wrong with that i it's just different strokes for different folks kind of thing